It's more about mindset, more so than personality. They don't believe they can be rich. They don't like asking for money. They don't like talking about money. So they have these other things that are holding them back. It's not like grateful for my Porsche and grateful for a mansion. Sure you not are. those. But, <laughs> yes, but you are. Of I course am. You are. Yeah. I am. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big step. She can fix that. Let's fix that. Let me ask you this, charisma, social skills. Yeah. I mean, you have them. Certainly you've, you've continued to develop them mm -hmm. as you need to when yes. you're on camera yeah. and you're talking to people. But also just out because it's a very much a people-facing business that you're in. Yeah. Real estate and yeah. renting things yes. and whatnot. Um, how critical is that? to someone succeeding? How crucial is it to have those? I mean, where would you rank them on a, on a one to 10 scale? If you've got a student, someone you're mentoring or whatever, and maybe they don't possess yeah. this level of yeah. sociability. I mean, yeah. what, what's kind of your advice to that? Is, that mm. is it that important? It is not that important. Okay. I've seen, I, now that I've met so many successful people, I noticed that they all have different personalities. I've seen super shy people make way more money than I do. Okay. You know what I mean? I've seen jerks, just rough, direct, racist, you just name it, just bad qualities doing very well in what they do. But, but don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, yeah but, don't, but she's seen it, but yeah. we don't like it. We don't need to okay. do that. But it's more about mindset, more so than personality. So. We have personalities. Some people are outgoing, charismatic, like talking to people. Some people are shy, reserved. They don't like speaking to people. They like being to themselves. But it's not personalities that, that, that determine the success. Mm. It's mindset. I notice we'll all have the same mindset. If you ask them about abundance, for example, if you ask them about being courageous or when to have confidence, I'm sure that shy, reserved, successful person and this charismatic, outgoing one will have the same mindset. And so I feel like those are where it really comes into play, where we're not talking necessarily about personalities. You can be shy, you can be this, but if we have the same mindset that we're going to be successful, I'm going to be profitable, I'm going to make money, I wanna have a successful business and we have that mindset, that's what's more important than being someone that can speak well. I have students with, t with strong accents, barely speak English doing real estate deals. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. I, I think that's low, I do. Yeah, that's good. I do. Do you teach that? Is that part of any of your curriculum, this idea of the right mindset? Definitely, definitely. At the core of everything that I, it's funny, let, let's go there for a second. When I first started teaching real estate, I realized that's what I needed to teach first. So many people come to me, I wanna flip a house, I wanna do all of these things, but they have all these fears, they have all these limiting beliefs, they don't believe they can be rich, they don't like asking for money, they don't like talking about money, so they have these other things that are holding them back besides being able to say that script or analyze a property to see if it's profitable. Yeah. Those are the easy things to teach. The harder thing is to change your mindset, to start journaling, to say your affirmations, to know that you can manifest. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those type of things, those skills are mindset skills and that inner work is so much more important than the rest of it. So do you, are you a firm believer? I mean, do you, are there daily routines that you have that you absolutely Swear by? Swear by. Like what? Absolutely, my morning routine. When I get up in the morning, I wake up in the morning probably between 4.30 and 5 every day. And that's not driven by that children screaming That is not driven by children night. screaming. That's my kids an actual don't, iPhone alarm going Not an off. iPhone alarm. I, it's Your funny, my goal, just, my body just wakes me up at that like time Kramer. now. Yeah, yeah, just it's just a routine. The, it is, it's just like I just pop up in the morning and I, but when I first wake up, I'm not busy doing things. I don't wake okay. up and start making my kids breakfast or get them ready for school. I wake up in the morning and some of the first things that I'm doing are journaling, saying my manifestation. Now, wait a minute. Yeah. When did journal become a verb? Journaling is a <laughs> verb. I don't know when, but my mentor told me, you need to journal and make it a verb. I've, I've heard that recently and I'm like, I must be old because I remember when you wrote a in a journal yes. as opposed to journaling. Anyway, so you're up, you're yes. journaling. I'm journaling. You're diarying. I, yes. No. <laughs> Hopefully you're not diary. That one does not sound as well <laughs> okay, anyway, as sorry. a verb. Um, <laughs> saying my affirmations in the morning, taking, doing my meditation. I do my little bit of yoga in the morning. I have a few stances and poses that I'll do just kind of by Is myself. Is that your fitness routine for the day or do you have later on at 6 a.m.? Later on I have a have? fitness routine, <laughs> okay. yes, I do. I okay. go to the gym a couple of times do a week. Do you meditate while you're doing yoga? 
Is that because you know I always think of yoga and meditation like Om, you know, and the no, you're they're sitting separate. in the lotus pose. No, or whatever. they're separate. Okay. Meditating is clearing your mind of all thoughts, and it take it took me a good three years to actually have meditated, and I still am not a great meditator. Someone yeah. seven, eight years in, I still can barely sometimes clear my mind where I'm not having thoughts because oh, yeah. there should be no thoughts. If oh. you're meditating, your mind is clear. You're you're just listening to your breath. And you've cleared your mind of thoughts. And it's powerful, though, what then is allowed, to, you, what you've made space for to come in. What great ideas, yeah, what yeah. great breakthroughs you have about life. Like this, like, wow, life is meaningless, but I create the meaning. You know, things like yeah, yeah. that. Right. Deep stuff, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Memes. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> we love memes. We do. Memes are crazy. Uh, so that's early morning. That's early morning. And that's every day. That's every day. What else? What else are you doing on a regular basis? So do you, when you're journaling, is, yes. that, is that planning for coming up? Or, or you're saying these are the things that I've done recently? Ooh, so this is two good things. So yeah. journaling it has two parts to it. So obviously you're journaling about things that are going on in your life. But right. one of the ways that I was learned to journal was I had to start off with what I was happy and grateful for and start writing a lot of gratitude type okay. things. So kind of a lot of you look through my journals, a lot of the same things. Like I'm so grateful that my parents are still alive. I love that I have a soft pillow and how comfortable my bed is and just little things, just grateful for the yep. really, really small things. I'm not like grateful for my Porsche and grateful for a mansion. Sure you are. Not those, <laughs> but, <laughs> yes, but you are. Of I am. You are. I yeah. am. No, but, but I know what you mean. It's yeah. really the small things. Like it's, it's the air conditioning is so cool in here. This is such a soft pillow, and you just it's an really attitude are. of gratitude. Yes. If you let that permeate. Yes. Oh boy, and it does just that, grows, yeah. mm -hmm. and you find so many things to be grateful for. You find how many more nice people are in the world. And then I script. So part of the journaling is also scripting where I'm future casting. Okay. You know, like, um, you know, I'm so grateful now that I'm earning $100 million a year. That's one of the things that I'm constantly writing about. I don't literally at this moment make $100 million per year. However, in the next near future, I will be. Because it's one of the things that I'm scripting and journaling and, and streams of income that I'm creating. So it's journaling about what you have kind of going on, some things that you're grateful for, and then some scripting about future things that you want to happen and how happy you are for those things. And those are things you swear by. Yes. That you certainly uh, would offer as yes. advice to anyone. Anyone. Who, literally anyone. Yes. Now let me, as I talk about literally anyone, it occurs to me that not literally everyone can, well, in terms of the power to do what you've done, yeah. that is available to anyone that lives in a free country That's that right. blah, 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 under the same circumstances that you, but certainly you meet people that you're not going to dissuade, right? But there, there are people who weren't cut out to be entrepreneurs. Correct. Right? I, I think so. I, mean, I think so. I do. Um, maybe not at the moment. I, here's the thing, because I kind of go back and forth. I feel like everyone can have their own business. I feel like we were all have some gift from God that we were presented with. But should it be a business necessarily? Yes, <laughs> I do. I feel like if you're good at anything, no, you should I mean, be paid to do it. Well. Okay. Anything, okay. whether it, even if, it, if it's, it's true, everything is paid for yes, anyway. Yes, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so is there someone that's not built? They tell me yeah, there's people that come up to me and tell me they're not built for this or they're not built for that. Do I believe them? No. <laughs> I believe everyone can be an entrepreneur. I really do. It's just they're not practiced in it. This is yeah. just something you learn. I know well was not a big bad entrepreneur crawling around on the floor doing business deals. You know, I was I learned this. Yeah, and so everyone. But can. you don't come on. You, you don't seem to me like a militant Nazi entrepreneur. Like right. no. like you're like everyone should be right. their own. But right. if you want to be, I'm here for you and can show you the ropes. I if I had to be honest, I am. Everyone should be an <laughs> entrepreneur. If I, if I just don't say it. Honest Nazi. <laughs> I mean, really. That's it. That's, that's fair. No. Well, because you've lived it and you've 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 seen the fruits of it. I have. Yeah, yeah, no. I have, and it, it, it's, it's it, entrepreneurship has two types of freedom. So you have the the money freedom where I'm able to create my own income. No one's dictating to me how much money I make. But then it's the time freedom. I have now been able to create my life. Like if I want to work only from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. I can do that in my business. I can create a business where I only work from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. if I wanted to. I, you can create yeah. your time freedom. So to me, that, that's the most valuable thing we have is our time. Wow, what an amazing episode. I hope you really learned a lot. Do you want a successful YouTube channel just like me? Well, now you have the opportunity. 
go to BeTheHeroStudios.com and fill out an application to work with Nate Woodbury. He's the person responsible for my YouTube channel. Hey there, look forward to chatting with you. You can work directly with Nate just by going to BeTheHeroStudios.com, filling out the application, and make sure that you tell him Noel Randall sent you. I just want to make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noel. To your success. Is yes, there I anyone would love that. famous besides Noel or in Orlando? Or Shaquille O'Neal, maybe? Oh, is he still here? He? I, but I want to do like Greece and the Galapagos. Yeah. I want to go to places Galapagos I can't. Island. Thank you. Places Easter I can't Island. pronounce. She was a business major. <laughs> Why does she need to know geography? I don't know any 